Good morning, everybody. Dar Sizzle and Pudding coming at you this morning. It is absolutely gorgeous today. We are on the, well, not the West Coast. Well, kind right of the, the West South Coast. Point in the Everglades. The, the very tip of Florida, Everglades City, with Captain Caleb of Everglades City Fishing Charters. And it, it's just a beautiful morning. We had a two hour drive this morning and no wind over here. And I'm looking forward to catching up some fish. Yeah, we're in Everglades City. I, we mean to come here forever. It's just forever. a beautiful part of Florida, not, uh, you know, not densely populated. You know, no one's here, people just fishing. Uh, we're gonna be catching reds and snook and trout. And uh, usually some interesting things pop up down here. So uh, let's get right to it. Though, so. Yeah, we're excited. Like we said, we've been trying to do this forever. So this is just an unexplored area for us. And we're taking you along for the adventure. Yeah. Let's roll. We had a really beautiful run to the first fishing spot and Captain Caleb is gonna give me the down low on how we are gonna fish this particular area where we are. Okay, so we got a 15, 20 pound uh, braid and then you made it up with a 30 pound fluorocarbon. Okay. Got a bucktail jig, a piece of shrimp on it. Fishing anywhere towards this point. So shallower towards the point, drops off into a trough. Those fish will be working up the edge, working back down. They'll come up and feed, go back down. Well, anywhere along the shoreline, doesn't have to be super close. Let it sink down to the bottom. Okay. Water temp's a little chilly. Twitch it up, let it pause. Give it time to hit the bottom again. Okay. Twitch it up, let it pause. Pretty much all the way back to the boat. Okay, sounds like a plan. Did you see that? Did you see how you rigged that shrimp? Exactly how I rig shrimp when I'm inshore fishing on our coast as well. So we do this a lot when we're inshore and I have a good feeling. Anywhere where you fish points and structure, you know, there's fish always cruising through. So just a matter of time before we get the first bite. Caleb is hooked up on the first fish, just like that. Broke the skunk off. Got a nice juvenile snook. Broke the skunk. Beautiful. Can't complain. They're like little mahi. They're all over the place. Woo, he got one too, doubled up. All right, another species, y'all. Shrimp on a jig, killing it. Come here, buddy. Let him go. Really pretty. Control that fish and just pinch those two dots by his gills and he's fine. Let's let him go. See what it is. Might be a Jackie, not sure. You never know. It's a flounder. How cool. Haha, -ha. look at that, guys. I never catch flounder. Oh, 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 jump. <laughs> yes. Is that what's known as a trophy fish? That's a trophy. I never get to catch flounder. Check them out. Summer flounder, right? Flounder, whatever you guys want to call them. There you go. Look how cool he is. Show me in the sunlight. Pretty. Captain Caleb just said they, they rarely catch these guys, once in a blue moon. So let's let him go. What we got, what we got? The jack, no it's a trout. silver trout. Hey, look at that guys. My first ever silver trout, also known as a weak fish up north. Uh, so you can see that like they literally look identical to a speckled sea trout, except they got no spots. How cool is that? Chill out, buddy. There you go. Look at that, same exact teeth and everything. What'd you say? Okay. Yeah, no size limit on those. Great eating on, these guys are great eating and no size limit. So we're probably gonna keep a few. I'd love to try these guys. Awesome. Cut dinner. It's a trout in the boat. Nice. Take it, and he's off. That's a keeper, right? There's that trout, beautiful. Let's get a quick commander on him and see if he keeps, or we gotta let him go. 16. All right, there you go. They gotta be 15 inches long to keep. Beautiful, I don't get to keep these, catch these guys too often. Jeez, I'm just dropping every fish. I'm like, butterfingers today, for real. 
He can hold on to saltwater fish offshore, but little fish I can't seem to hold on to. But there you go. All right. Just tenderized his meat up, and he's going to be dinner, along with the whiting and the silver, also weak fish. So we got three different species in the cooler. All right, guys, this is how I'm rigging up today. We're using shrimp, live shrimp. Pinch them right in half, easy, just like so. Drop the half, so that way you got two baits now. And we're using these jigs. And these jigs, you can see we've got a little mylar on there, and it gives it a little bit of flash, especially in the dirtier water, bring attention to it with the fish. And of course, splitting a shrimp in half means that you're getting the shrimp sent into the water and attracting fish. And then just like I show you guys in a lot of my inshore videos, just run that jig right through the meat, go up through the head, and push it on there, just like so. And that's how I'm bouncing it off the bottom and catching all kinds of fish. Nice one. Just flip them in. I don't want to freaking lose them. Woo! Oh my gosh, we almost lost him. <laughs> Woo! That's a stud. That is a stud, guys. All right, so you can see that we are just slaying fish today. This is the biggest, my, this is close to my personal best. It probably is. Uh, beautiful speckled sea trout. You guys want to come up down here and do this in beautiful Everglades City fishing charters. They actually own the marina here as well. Uh, uh, <laughs> Everglades City Marina. And so you can actually even bring your boat here if you want to, if you don't want to take a charter. But just a family owned business, great people. You know, his brother, Captain Caleb, and his brother and his, uh, and his father run charters. And his mother even works in their brand new tackle shop. So come down here and check it out. I'll link all their information down below. Trout number two for me. That's a beauty. Woo! No more dropping fish. Butterfingers. Okay, new spot, just took a little bit of a run there, and now I'm using a little bit of a different setup. We got our popping cork, which is perfect for redfish, sea trout, snook. And you can see my leader here is about 18 inches, 20 inches long. And then we've got a jig head on the end with half a shrimp, rigged up just like the same as before. I was fishing the jig on the bottom, except the jig is just attached to a popping cork this time. So I'm gonna be casting it out close to this uh, mangrove edge or island edge, whatever you want to call it. And there's a trough here, so I'm going to be casting over there. And that's hopefully where the fish will be cruising up and down. And then of course, popping the cork uh, occasionally. Nice, got another trout. Please get in the boat, please get in the boat. Yes, look at that trout. That's a stud right there on the jig. We've just been bouncing around here in the 10,000 Islands region, just going from spot to spot and trying to find these fish. And we just hit like five or six spots and didn't find any fish, we just moved on. And sure enough, we just found a hole of fish. Are you hooked up too? I got an oyster. Oh, okay. I thought he was hooked up, but he's got an oyster. We're both, well, he is hooked up, <laughs> just on an oyster. <laughs> that is a nice trout. Beauty. Crush that, set the jig, set the hook perfect. Fish wasn't going anywhere. Beautiful fish, gorgeous. Nice, they're so good. Can't wait to eat these later. 17 and a half, sweet. Look at the yellow in the mouth, that's wild. Wow. side. Nice. Beauty. Woo. Slaying the trout. Tra trout slayer today. Now I'd love to find a redfish. But redfish I should catch the same exact way. So it's a matter of time. I might have just jinxed it though by saying it on camera. <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? I hope it's not a catfish. It's a nice trout. Another trout, another trout, another trout. Slaying the trout. 
Woo! Those are all quality sea trout. No complaints. But again, I'm just looking for that elusive fish that I'm not saying the name of. Oops, I just got my bail switched. Ooh. Come on! Come on! Come on, fish! Just using a popping cork on this edge here. Like I've been saying, we've just been moving from spot to spot. We are just trying our hardest today to catch fish, and I just got crushed over there on the shoreline and tried to get this fish out of there. It's a nice fish. Look at this. Oh. Please stay hooked. Get to the boat, baby. It's the fish I want, I'm pretty sure. Come on, fish. He's out of the mangroves now. And then I was just fighting him there for a second. I was dangerously close to losing the fish. And Captain Caleb's like, don't lose it. So far, he's not to the boat yet, but oh, it's a beautiful red. Oh, look at that beautiful red fish. Oh, man. We don't have a net today, but we're landing every fish. Oh, look at that beauty. Gorgeous red. Oh, that's what I wanted. Don't get to catch a lot of these back home. That's a beautiful red fish. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, to the boat, to the boat. Beautiful hook set. That is a beautiful fish. Yes. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful redfish in the boat. Captain Caleb putting us on the fish today. Heck yeah. Look at that fish. Thank you. Oh, we're just. Look at that gorgeous fish, guys. Beautiful colors. Got two spots, one spot there and two spots on the other side of the tail. I don't know if you can see that. Check that out. Nice fish. Don't know if it's in the slot range, but we're gonna find out. But either way, really beautiful Florida Everglades or Florida City or Everglades City, can't talk, redfish. Finally, took hours to catch them, but we did it. Oh, so pretty, love these things. Don't get to catch enough of them. Stoked. It's gonna be 27. Keeper. Keeper. That's a nice fish. That is a stud right there. I just I was, got a keeper. I was willing to take 117 inches. Oh man, upper slot right there. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> I'm happy now. Nice. Upper slot can be kept between a minimum of 18 inches long to a maximum of 27 inches long. And this fish was just over 26. And it's a really nice fish. Like, look how healthy that fish is. Beautiful. There's those two spots. Look at that blue tail. Oh, that's going to be delicious. I'm stoked, I'm so excited. Nice. All right guys, back at the dock. Great right. day on the water. I can't, I, we had a great day. You know, I, we have been wanting to come down here to Everglades City. Forever. Forever, I can't, I don't know why we never came down here before, but we hooked up with uh, Everglades City Fishing Charters. And this, these guys are just great. This is Captain Caleb, uh, Captain Brandon is, is his dad. He owns the whole operation. They got like five or six boats. It's a family operation, guys. Now after COVID, you guys gotta come down here. And, and represent and help out this, you know, family business in the fishing. It's awesome. That's right. So come down here, they got the marina, they got the tackle shop, you can come down here. Even if you're not getting a charter, when you come down to Everglades City or you want to fish in the Everglades, you come down here, you get your bait. You put your boat in the water. They got the dock, they got it all, all right? They got everything and Inside, you need. they got all the tackle you need, uh, all the bait and all that great stuff. Uh, and it's only, we took us two hours to get here from Boynton, which is by West Palm Beach. If you guys are flying into Fort Lauderdale, you're going to Miami, they live in Naples. Those were all like an hour to an hour and a half away. Yeah. You can come down here in the morning, exactly. fish your butt off, and then go home. No problem. Exactly. Great day on the water. Caught that awesome flounder, all those trout, freaking everything that swims here we caught, including the red, which was elusive till the very end, but we caught them. And like I said, Captain Caleb's a man. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. We hope you enjoyed. And until our next adventure, follow, follow your, your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching.